Hi, this is Hina Imran from Learn and Explore 360. I'll be showing you how to build a website for free. It's easy to learn and very quick to make. So watch the video till the end. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit and all the other social platforms by the name Learn and Explore 360. So let's start building a website. I'll be building a photography website and will show you how to do it step by step. The first thing that you need to do is go to your web browser and type Google Sites. Hit enter. You'll be directed to your search and the, this is the first link that you need to click. And you are on Google Sites. As soon as you land up in this page, um, you are seeing these three websites these are the websites that I've already made. You might not be seeing it because if you're starting it for the first time, this will be blank. You will go to blank. There are templates where you can, you know, um, click on it and start filling um, and start putting your website. But um, I don't usually prefer it because then I'm unable to edit it the way I want. So I'll go to blank. And now I'm on my website where I am able to edit my website. The first thing that I need to do is um, name my website. So I'm making a photography website and uh, I'll name it. Uh, the name will appear, the same name that you have named your file will appear uh, on the web page. I can add the logo. Um, I'll have the option of upload and select. If you have not made a logo, you can select and it will take you to Google search and there you can find some free logos that you can put up. Uh, I want to put my picture uh, in it, so I'll go to upload and I'll put my picture. So now I have my picture on the left side as a logo and here I'm on photography written on the web page. I'll click cancel. You can name your page. That is your home page. Um, since it's an introduction to my page, I will write Now, as soon as you start putting in your text, this um, toolbox uh, appears where you can select your fonts the way you want it to be or just make it beautiful. If I don't like any font over here, what I can do is go to more fonts and it's going to open some more fonts that I can choose from. I can make it big, I can make the fonts even more bigger, it's up to me. I can you know, align it, I can align it sideways, I can buy it in the center. Or if I want to link it uh, to some other page, I can also link it over here. For instance, now I want my um, visitors to visit my Facebook page also, so I can put a link over here also. I'll click on this and um, it'll give me the option of putting in the link. So now, um, whenever a visitor clicks on my Hina Imran photography font, uh, they will be taken to my Facebook page. So I don't want to do that right now, so I'll just delete it. Okay, the next thing that you would want to do is change your cover photo. Now you have options of uh, changing your header type. It can be into cover. This is a large um, outlook. 
if you want to have a large banner then your large banners will come you can have a banner also or you can just have your title i want to go for large one since um, i want to show my work and then i'm going to go to change image because i don't like this black lines so again when i click on change image i have the option of upload and select when you click select it will take you uh, to google search let me show you you have five options you can either choose from the galleries the very good pictures over here you can go through url if you have a url of a picture then you can put it over here and, and it will be saved you can go through a url or you can search for a picture or you can go to your albums or you can go to your drive i don't want to do that because i want to upload my picture so i'll go to upload and um, i'll click on this one and i have my page now the photograph that has been uploaded uh, will change its color to a darkest version because you know so that the text can be visible if you don't want that happening um, you can remove the readability adjustment and it will give you uh you know a true color picture but if i have this readability option crossed then my text are not that clear so i'll just put it to readability view uh, so that my text is visible all right the next thing that i want to do is give an introduction to what my website is so i can go to text box and um, click on it and I can write my introduction so I'm just giving a sample version you can have a heading also I can have a welcome to my site now I need to select this and then again this toolbar has appeared and I can align it in the middle I can make it from normal text to heading because I want my viewers to be welcomed. All right. Now, if I hover over the this rectangle box, this text box, I get this option of dots. So now I can move my text box and um, adjust it the way I want. Like for instance, I want a text box over here and I want an image. I have my image over here because I'm welcoming my audience and I can drag this and I can, you know, make it come over here. Now, while I'm at this, I can also change the background of this text box of this area and make it look more appealing if I want to change color or if I want to duplicate, I can also duplicate by clicking on this section. So now I can write something else and I can put a picture over here. For now, I don't want that. So I'll just delete. Okay, I want to change the color. So I'll go over here on the right left side. I have the option of the white background, of a gray background, of a blue background that is, you know, according to the theme that is by default on or I can go to image and I can either upload uh, an image that I would want behind these text in my picture or I can go to select image for instance I want a black background so I'll go to select image and then again I have these options of gallery by searching by URL, searching my album or Google Drive. I can either select either one of them or I can just go to search and I'll type black. 
and I get this black option. So I'll just select this first one and now I have this black background. So I am done with my first page. Now um, you can also change theme. For that, you need to go to the right side of your edit panel. These, this is your edit panel. And I'll go to theme. Right now, it's just a simple theme. Um, you have Aristotle, Diplomat, Vision Level and Impression. It's up to you what kind of theme do you want. For instance, I want the Aristotle theme. So Aristotle theme has the selected colors that are here by default and the font also i can go to classic bold with the font i can even change the colors also for instance i want a red underline so i'll have this red over here all right now let's start creating pages so i will go to pages and right now i have only one page that is the home page that is of my uh, welcoming or landing page uh, if I want to insert another page I will click on pages I will go down and I have this option of plus I will click on this and create a new page and uh, I want um, to showcase my food photography so I will go and write food photography done so now I have my page of food photography okay now I'm, on, uh, now I'm on my second page and I don't want such a big um, header with my uh, second page so what I can do is I can go to header type and I'll just go and click on banner so now I have food photography with a small banner and now I can also change the image I'll go to upload I'll click on one of the image so I want it nice and bright that's why I have switched off the readability view and for the font to appear you know a little bit more visible I can go and I can switch to black so now I have my food photography of that the text is quite visible and I have my picture in the background all right now to insert pictures and text and images what I need to do is I need to go to insert on the right side again and um, I can either click on one image or I have the option of choosing from the layout so I want to choose this layout where I can put some pictures on it and I can maybe title it and I can maybe put a recipe of it so that you know whoever comes can have the recipe also and see my photography so I'll click on plus I, I have the option of upload, select image from Drive. I can even put a YouTube link, a YouTube video on it. I can put a calendar or a map on it. So for now, I'll just go to upload. I'll select one picture that is of my burger. And I'll write singer burger. And I can probably put a recipe over here. I can change the alignment. And I have my recipe. So I have my picture of a Zinger burger, Zinger and the recipe. So. Now I have my food photography, I have my text boxes, I have my picture, I have my headings and I have my recipe. Thank you for watching till the end. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any new video from my side. 
and do not forget to leave a comment in the comment box. You can also let me know of any new concepts that you want me to make the next video on. Till then, take care. Bye.